Vostok 2018 is the name of the largest Russian military drill since the fall of the Soviet Union. Some 300,000 soldiers, along with more than 1,000 aircraft and 36,000 tanks and armoured vehicles are participating, sending a clear message west to the United States and NATO, but also sending a message east. China dispatched a big force of its own to the drill held in eastern Russia, not far from the Chinese border. More than 3,000 Chinese soldiers are taking part in this joint exercise by the two giant neighbours. This exercise is the first joint operation by Chinese and Russian armed forces since both had their reforms. China and Russia have not always seen eye to eye, but there are currently joint interests connecting the two. Both countries want to show they are ready to protect their remote and sparsely populated areas in their far eastern regions. And they also want to send Washington a clear message that it will not be the only one determining the future in Russia's and China's backyard. We support the steps undertaken by the leaders of South Korea and North Korea to restore the bilateral relations. We hope the upcoming summit between two Koreas and Pyongyang will bring results. So it's not by chance that just as the military drill began, the leaders of the two nations met in Vladivostok, located near the Russia, China and North Korean borders. The visiting Chinese president making it clear that he would like to see Russia maintain a strong presence in the area. Under your personal leadership, big changes have happened with the city. It highlights the great achievements in state building in Russia under your leadership. Following their meeting, the two leaders went on to make some pancakes and eat them along with caviar and vodka. A thousand miles to the east, their two armies are still conducting their joint drill, one that could create a mighty military alliance. Asher Westrop-Evans, I-24 News.